In the first one, we multiplied one by 23 and we get 23. And you said that the name of the property is an identity property of multiplication. Now look at the second one here. 47 times 15 equals 15 times 47. So what is the name of the property? Bravo, commutative, thank you. Okay, you finish writing now? Okay, um, yeah, let's no, you. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, okay. <coughs> It's okay. Yeah. Now here. Yeah. Yeah, let's hurry up. Hurry up, please. Yeah, let's yeah, now go to the segment. Yes, hurry up. Yeah, okay, I will go back. <laughs> The first one is identity property and the second one commutative. Hurry up, please. Now, let's go to the second one here. Yeah, now all of you open your book, page uh, 19. Okay, here now page 19. Number one, Jilan. Where's Jilan? Yes, Jilan. Here, use the properties to find four times 23 times 25. How can you, what do you have to write here? How can you solve it? 23 times what? Times 25. Oh, bravo. Yeah, just one more. So here you have to write four because we have 23 times. Uh, sorry, just one minute. So here 23 times four times 25. Then here we have to open. Now, first of all, when you multiply 23 times four times 25, which type of property do you use? Commutative, thank you, because you changed here. We have an four times 23, but here now you change the order of them and it doesn't matter. So that means here you use the commutative property of multiplication. Thank you, Gina. Now, Hala, uh, Hala. Hello, oh, hello, Bashar. Hello, or hello. Yes, hello, yes, hello. Here now, 23 times you open two brackets. What do you have to write in these two brackets here? Four and 25, bravo. 
Now, when you put 4 and 25 inside these two brackets, which property of multiplication do you, did you use? Is it commutative or uh, associated or identity? Sorry? Commutative or associative? Associative, thank you, because when you, you can regroup the numbers and then multiply them. So this is an associate. Now, first of all here, what we have to do now, we have to multiply 4 by 25. 4 times 25, or you can say like 25 times 4. First of all, you have to multiply 4 times 5. Now, 4 times 5. Twenty. So this is twenty. All of us know that this is twenty. So you have now to put this zero down and this two up. Then four times two eight plus two ten. So what's the answer now when you multiply four times twenty five? 100. Okay. Now, did I finish? No. I am here. Now I need now to continue. Now I need to multiply 23 times 100. Now let's choose uh, Lana. Lana Ismail. Yes, Lana. 23 times 100. Sorry? Sorry, can you raise your voice? Can you raise your voice? Twenty-three times one hundred. What the answer will be? Yes, Nana. Here you have to write. 23 and then add the two zeros. Then each two or three brackets, you have to add comma, as we said before. So what the answer will be? 2,300. Did you understand? Okay, yeah, you can write that. Yeah, I'm waiting you, you can write that. Okay. Now, okay. yeah, sorry. Just please hurry up next time. Hello. Okay. Okay, I I get that I can do that. Done? Okay. Now Here now, use the properties. This is page um, uh, oh, 719. Use the properties to find the sum or product. Here, what do we have? 89 plus 27 plus 11. I want now to solve it. I want now to think 
How can I solve it? First of all, I will put two brackets here as an example, and then add the two numbers inside the brackets. Then the result of adding these two numbers, I will add it back to 89. Did you get the idea? Here. Here now, here now we have 89 plus 27 plus 11. Okay, what I have to do now, I have to add them. First, I will add 27 plus 11. Let's add them here now. 7 plus 1, 8. 2 plus 1, 3. So the answer is 38. Then this find the, not the answer or the summation of 27 plus 11, which is 38. I have now to add it to 89. Is it clear? Then I have to add 89 with 38. Let's add it here now. 89 with 38. 9 plus 8. 17. 7. You have to put 7 down. And the 1 or the 10s, 1 and the 10s up. Then 3 plus 8. 11 plus 1, 12. So what's the final answer here? 127. Bravo. So then now uh, here, we have 127. Is it clear? Now here, nine times 52. I want to use the properties to find the product. Which property do I have to use? Who can tell me? Yes, let's use the distributor. Here, we can say that nine times 52, it's equal to 9 times 50 plus 2. Then it's 9 times 50 plus 9 times 2. Is it right? Then Then here, yeah, 9 times 50, 9 times 0, 0, and 9 times 5, 45, bravo. So 9 times 50, the product is 450, plus 9 times 2, 18, bravo, then I have to add them together. 450 plus 18. 8, 5 plus 1, 6, and 4. So the answer here is 468, yes. Is it clear? Okay. Now, 107 plus 0 plus 39 plus 13. Okay, first of all, what you have to do first? Now, sorry, but let's write here that we used an associative property of addition. 
This is for number two. Now, the second one here, which profile do you use? So here we use the associated. So I don't have approximate, I don't have a space. So. We use a distributed property, thank you. So here now, and the final answer was uh, 127, is right? Okay. Now here, the second one, we use the distributive Property. Now, the number three, number four, here we add 107 plus zero first, and then 39 plus 30. Then the result or the uh, summation of the first bracket, and then I will add to the summation of the second bracket, and then I will find the answer. So here, 107 plus zero. 107, is it right? And then 39 plus 13. 39 plus 13. 9 plus 3. Grade 5. Yes, grade 5. Yeah. 3 plus 9, 12. 3 plus 1. Four plus one, five. So here we have 52. Now then, 107 plus 52. Seven plus two, nine. Zero plus five, five and one. So what's the answer will be? 159. Well, now what are the names of the two properties that, that I use here? The first one we use an associated, and what also? What's the second one? Bravo, identity. What's your name? What's your name? God bless you, Hunada. So here we use two properties, associated and identity. Now, number five here. Complete the equation until which property you used. 90, uh, 39 multiplied by 30 plus 7. Here, we multiply, I open two brackets, I multiply 9 by 30, and then 9 by 7. Yeah, then, 9 times 30. Look at it. 9 times 30. Red five. Yes, also. 
30 times 9. 30 times 9. Here. 9 times 0. 0. 9 times 3. Twenty-seven. So it's two hundred seventy. Yes, bravo. And nine times multiply by seven. Nine times seven. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Then you have to add them now. Two hundred seventy plus sixty-three. Zero plus three. Three, seven plus six. Bravo. And two plus one. Three hundred thirty-three. Thank you. Now, what is the name of property that you use here? How did you use it? What is the name of the property? We use, yes, we use a distributed property. Yes, yeah. Is it clear? No, number six, zero plus, which number give me 47? Bravo. So what is the analytic property of addition? Thank you. Yes. Bravo. Okay. Yeah, well, now let's go to the second one. Um here now in number 12. Okay, show how you can use a distributive property to rewrite and find 23 times 6 and 23 times 4. Okay, how can I rewrite it? Now, in the distributive, we say that if we have 4 times 5 plus 7, we write it as 4 times 7 plus 4, uh, sorry, 4 times 5 plus 4 times 7. In this question here, they give me this one, the sentence or the uh, expression after this review, after, after distributed a distribution, and they ask me now to rewrite the original one. So what's the original one will be? Sorry? Yeah, let's think about it now. Yeah, so I So, okay, but how can we write it first? What do you have to write first? 23, 32 times what? 32. Okay, but how, miss here, in the 
all of us know before, if we have four times five plus seven, we distribute it to get four times five and then four times seven. And number 12 here, it's already distributed. But I want to write the question. I want to write the original one. So here, look at the one here. Four is repeated. So it means four will be out of the bracket. Then I open one bracket, then I bring number five, the add some plus and seven. So it's gonna be four times five plus seven. Here now, I, 32 is repeated. So I will take 32 out of the bracket. Then I will add, right, six plus four. Did you understand? Yes, exactly. I will give you now another example here. Just to understand. Um, look at me here. Now, if you have six times nine plus six times four. Now, which one, which, what is the number that is repeated? Six. So I'll bring now this number six here. Then this one, it's better I take one of them. Then what we have now, we have to open bracket. Take the plus sign. And then what is the number that is written here? Nine. Take it here. And then the four. Take it here. So look at it now. Here we have six times nine plus four. Let's now distribute it. If we want, let's check. Yeah, it comes like six times nine and six times four. That's it. Now, all of you go to page number 20. Okay. Sorry. Number Miss C, I will uh, post and I will upload the court the answers on the Clasera, okay, in order to rewrite a new book. Okay, because, sorry? Now, here, number 13. Three friends' meals at restaurant cost $13, $14, and $11. Use parentheses to write two different expressions to show how much the friends spent in all. Here we have three numbers, three costs of meals. We have an 13, 14, and 11. And they ask me now to find how much the friend spent in all. When you say now in all, okay, do you add? or multiply. Add, bravo. So let's now add them. Then now, how can you solve it here? What do you have to do first? We should make it open a parenthesis. Bravo, open two parentheses for the first two numbers first. Then okay. the answer of the summation. Add it to 11, bravo. So, yalla, ya, uh, yes, ya hunada. 13 plus 14. 13 plus 14. 3 plus 4 equal uh, 7. 1 plus 1 equal 2. So, 27 plus 11. Yes. 27 plus 11. 7 plus 1 equal 8. And 2 plus 1 equal 3. So, Bravo. 38. So, 38 dollars. Now, what is the name of the property they use here? 
What is the name of the property they use? Associated, distributed? Associated property. Associated property. So, because we have made plus with two numbers, then we add it with the third number. Yeah. So now here we use non associated property. Now, um, now here, Jacob is designing an aquarium for the doctor's office. He plans to buy six red blonde copies. So they decide now to buy six red blonde and one blue neon and one yellow gobby. Okay, the table shows the price list for the gobby. How much will the gobbies for the aquarium cost? What do you have to do here? They buy one blue neon, one blue, six red and one yellow. Yes. So what you have to do, you have to multiply one times 11. Plus yes. six times 22. Plus one times 19. That's it? Got it. Then you have to find the answer. Now, but because here 11, Plus 19, 30. Plus six times 22. I will solve it quickly because the period is finished. Six times two, 12. Six times two, 12 plus one, 13. So then two, six, one. So they spent $162. Is it clear? Yes. Do you have any question? No. Yes. Yes. I have a question.